Welcome to the Many Bidets review of the Toto S500e and S550e. When it comes to these two models, the only difference is auto opening and the nightlight. The S550e offers a nightlight and auto opening, while the S500e does not. It is also important to note that both models come with two designs a classic design with a beveled edge, and a modern or contemporary design with a smooth edge. This edge only relates to the lid, and in this review, we will be looking at the modern or contemporary design. The differences between these two trims is purely cosmetic and only affects the lid of the washlet. With the new Toto S500e and S550e, Toto has redesigned their nozzle setup. In the past, they used a dual nozzle. Now they have switched to a single nozzle with multiple washes built into it. We have rear, wide, and narrow washes, as well as front, wide, and narrow washes, all built into one sleek nozzle. You will notice that the nozzle is still plastic. They have not yet switched to the stainless steel or aluminum nozzles that many other bidet seats on the market offer. These units do offer eWater Plus, which sterilizes the water used to wash the nozzles before and after each use. Some other seats offer similar functionality, but it is a fairly rare feature to see even in a high-end bidet seat. Here we see eWater Plus at work while the nozzle runs through self-cleaning. This happens every time you sit on the seat to prepare the nozzle for use. Now we see the wide or soft rear wash running and the nozzle position being adjusted to fit the operator's preferences. Although it's a little bit harder to see, we can also see that the water pressure is being changed as well as a massage wash being run. A massage wash pulsates between strong and soft streams to offer a massaging sensation. We can now see the oscillating wash run which covers a wider surface area. Oscillation can be run along with any of the other wash settings as desired. We are now looking at the normal rear cleaning, which offers all of the same functions as the wide clean, just with a more narrow stream. Note that once again, the nozzle runs through self-cleaning after the wash is completed as well. Now we see the front wash being run. Keep in mind that the front wash also offers a wide and a narrow stream option. The wide option being the softer wash of the two. Just like the other washes, you can adjust power, you can adjust temperature, nozzle position, and choose between massage and oscillating washes. Now we are taking a look at the nozzle from the top. Again, keep in mind that any of the washes can be completely customized based on your preference. Water temperature, pressure, and position of the nozzle are all fully customizable. One of the other important topics to talk about is water flow. The S550e and the S500e both come in at a pretty standard water flow rate of 0.11 gallons per minute. There are other seats on the market that offer higher water flow and lower water flow. For details about how the water flow will affect your particular washing experience, feel free to reach out to us. Our contact information is in the video description below. We'll look at some additional features when we review the remote in a moment, such as deodorizer, warm air dryer, and the heated seat. Once the wash is completed, you can dab dry with toilet paper or use the warm air dryer for completely hands-free experience. It's also important to note that the S550e and the S500e only come in elongated and have replaced the S350e and S300e for elongated models only. One other feature that we've not talked about yet is unique to the Toto line, and that's pre-misting. Both of these units will pre-mist the bowl, that is spray it down with water, before use. This layer of water helps to keep anything from sticking to the bowl while the toilet is in use. And lastly, before we look at the remote, we see the warm air dryer in action. Both the S550e and S500e 
come with a sleek remote and wall mount. Store the remote in the wall mount when not in use, and even operate the remote from the wall mount if so desired. The remote looks classy and feels good when being held in your hand. The front side of the remote is simple, and the back side holds the more advanced features. On the back, we have a screen that allows us to select different options as we see applicable. Below the screen and options buttons, we see the battery compartment. As talked about earlier, we know that the S550e offers auto opening lid and seat, while the S500e does not. While the lid itself opens automatically on the S550e when you approach the toilet, for the seat to open, a button needs to be pressed. This button is located on the top of the remote, making it very easy to lift the seat automatically while standing near the toilet. Simply press down on the top of the remote while the remote is in the wall mount. The buttons on the remote light up so that you know what option is activated. Here we can see toggling between wide and narrow rear wash and then pressing the stop button. Both of these units also come with a handy cheat sheet. This sheet can be mounted with the wall mount. Simply line up the holes when installing the wall mount to the wall. Using this cheat sheet, all of the buttons on the remote are more clearly labeled. So the remote itself only has icons, but with this sheet next to the icons, a guest who is not familiar with them can still operate the remote successfully. Clearly this cheat sheet is completely optional. Now let's take a quick look at the wall mount. We can see that the wall mount has two pieces, the back piece which screws into the wall and the clip which allows the remote to be slid in and out of the wall mount. We also have a screw hole in the bottom of the wall mount so after settings are programmed, we can remove the clip and simply screw the remote into the wall mount, giving it a sleeker look, but not giving us access to the back of the remote for more advanced functions. This would only be done after programming the presets into preset number one and preset number two. Here we can see the options light up as we press them, both the front and rear washes, for both wide and narrow streams. Down at the bottom, we have the ability to swipe to change the water pressure, as well as swipe to change the nozzle position. And then at the bottom, we can swipe again to select user preset number one or user preset number two. Next, we see the oscillating button pressed, which moves the nozzle back and forth, followed by the massage or pulsating wash, and lastly, the clean wash, which washes the nozzle with e-water, that sterilized water that's used on high-end Toto seats. The button above all of these nozzle adjustment options is the dry button. It's important to note that you can either use the air dryer or simply dab dry with toilet paper depending on your preference. On the back side of the remote, we see a small screen with a menu button, a temperature button, arrows, an enter button, and a power button. By default, the temperature options will be available, and we can scroll up and down using the up and down arrow buttons and adjust the temperature to warmer or cooler using the right and left arrows. Now hitting the menu option, we get to see more advanced menu selections. To navigate through these menu options, use the enter key to select a menu option and the menu key to go back to the previous menu selection. Under manual cleaning, we can turn wand cleaning on or off and we can also choose manual clean to have us clean it manually. Most people will use a toothbrush to gently scrub the nozzle when cleaning it manually. Under energy saver, we have a few different options. Auto energy saver, which detects periods when the unit's not used and lowers the seat temperature during those times. And auto energy saver plus, which determines times of the day when the seat's not used at all and turns off the warm seat altogether.
time energy saver seen here is also an option which allows you to set a duration of time during a certain portion of the day to turn the heated seat off instead of allowing the unit to learn these times on its own. The auto function allows you to select how auto features will work, allowing you to turn off the auto opening lid and seat if you would like, and allowing you to set delays, as well as configuring the auto cleansing of the nozzle and bowl, turning the deodorizer on and off, and turning on or off the auto power deodorizer, which uses a more powerful deodorizer fan. In the other settings area, we can turn on or off beeping. This tells the system whether or not to beep when a button is pressed. We can lock the remote. And we can choose a personal setting. This is where we set user presets. You can see when we choose register 1, we get the ability to set settings that we want to save for user preset 1. This concludes the mini bidets review of the Toto S550e and S500e washlet by Toto. Please feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions or concerns, or if you're looking for discounted pricing on either of the two seats. ManyBidets.com is a family-owned and operated business by Daniel, Nicole, Elijah, and Benjamin Johnson. Feel free to visit our website using the link in the video description below to learn more about our business as well as the products that we offer. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video if you found it helpful. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.